Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about graduate housing selection process. Uh, stressful, stressful. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to share with you my experience of how I got the housing and how's the process, which step, like how is like each step look like. Um, might not be the most successful experience, but at least I can share my experience and um, so you know. <laughs> uh, that's the purpose of this video. Um, so yeah, I I guess I've only done like student housing when I was like with my previous institution, uh, but it was like a completely different process and they will do like my UC Irvine did all the roommate matching whatsoever for me. Um, that was like less stressful. But I guess with Harvard graduate housing, it's a pretty competitive market now. And you know, like with COVID and everything going on, it's just like, I guess it's, it is like a more elite school. So even the housing selection process is very competitive. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, let me start sh sharing my experience with you. Um, so, so first thing first is that I had to find a roommate because you know, making money is difficult and I don't feel like paying for a $2,000 studio over there for like, you know, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't feel like paying that much. So I, I want a roommate. Um, this, this process is like, it's really important to get a good roommate because I did have like not so good roommates before and it, it, it was kind of like a nightmarish year for me in college. Um, so yeah, how my met my roommate is that I tried a couple of different methods. You know, I uh, joined the new student group chats, and then I joined a couple of Facebook housing group, uh, which is I think like the housing group on Facebook has a lot of scams going on, and I'm just like a bunch of random comments. So it wasn't really helpful. Um, what really helped me is that I did went to the New York reception for new students that's where i met my <laughs> current roommate she's super nice <laughs> i don't know that's, that feels like a original so origin story for how you meet your boyfriend and stuff but i'm still single so yeah um i met my roommate there we hit it off like we were checking our you know our budget and like when is our move-in date and everything seems like um it, it would work out perfectly for us so we decided to be roommates together. Uh, I think that was in April. So uh, I would suggest you, I, don't know, I guess like that like you don't need to rush into finding roommates, but starting early is definitely helpful uh, because the application deadline for graduate housing this year is May 1st, if I remember correctly. I think it's May 1st. Um, so what this deadline means is that you have to submit, you don't have to select a unit, like you don't have to decide what you want yet at that time. Um, you just have to decide, hey, if I want to go with grad, uh, grad housing with Harvard, then you need to submit your application by May 1st. I think there's also like several info session about that. Uh, I didn't join the info session, uh, luckily my roommate did and she was able to relay some of the information for me um there was a recording somewhere so i was like watching a little bit of clips of that um to get information yeah but yeah the deadline this year for 2022 is may 1st and then what that did is to for you to put in your information um get your application approved and then you can join the lottery for selection window so yeah, it's not like uh, a first come first first serve phase or stuff like that. As long as you put in your application before May first, you will be able to join the lottery. And to maximize your lottery chances of getting um, an earlier window and stuff, you and your roommate should definitely apply separately. Don't add each other on the uh, portal yet. Just apply separately as individuals. And then you can you can compare who gets an earlier window and who doesn't, right? Um, another information piece of information that I got from this info session is that all these, no matter when the starting date, will end on June thirtieth. I think 
if you, you have like a two-year program or something, you should be able to renew it and stuff like that. But for me, since I'm in a one-year program, I, it doesn't worry me too much. Um, I think the graduation date this year is May 20, 26. So you get about a month after your graduation, you still have a place to stay. Um, so yeah, that's all about the information about lottery and timeline. So yeah, the application deadline is May 1st. Enter the lottery. So me and my roommate both entered the lottery separately. Um, I, I guess because the, the closing date is May 1st and then we received an email on May 4th. So three days later, we received an email informing us about our lottery window and I think, I don't know, we both got like a relatively late uh, window because this year uh, the earliest one start in May 9th but our window is on May, like mine is slightly earlier, like a day earlier than my roommate's so mine start on May 23rd and when I was asking around, they were like, oh, by May 23rd, you might not have anything left. <laughs> so I was really, I was really like, you know, anxious and worried about it. But it is what it is. We, we were just going to check what's going to be available on May 23rd. Um, so what happened is that they're going to give you two dates. I don't know if it's like this every year, um, but they're going to give you two dates. The first date, May 23rd, is my... Uh, viewing window so on this day no one is able to select the apartments we are just gonna be allowed to look at it and make plans so what I did with my roommate is that we were looking at the window to get uh, we were looking at our listings and selections uh, available together and we made a list about what we want luckily on that on my viewing window i still have a decent amount of apartments left for me to select and i was like i found a couple of really good ones i really want it right it's like the price is good the distance from school is good like uh what is not to like right so we list about five apartments that we liked and then the next day um the window opens at 8 a.m for oh no at 9 a.m est time for me to select so I was like, you know, I couldn't sleep all night. I slept for like maybe a couple hours. I woke up at 7 a.m. I make sure like everything is correct with my laptop. You know, my laptop's open, the web page is open. I keep refreshing it until 9 a.m. <laughs> um, you know, and I clicked right into the, the first choice of mine. And it was gone immediately, like within, not even like within the millisecond. Cause I was checking the, I was pretty fast, I would say, cause um, I was checking the, the time um, and I was refreshing the page at like 8.59, like 59 seconds, whatever. Um, so I allowed the, I think like I was able to select it. I was able to select the unit and then I was a little bit slow on scrolling down and I click confirm selection and that's when I lose the unit. So that's how fast it is, that's how competitive it is. And then I went back to the previous page and we realized that all five listings that we wanted is gone now. Um, which made us feel really sad, but you know, we still have a couple of options left. So we scroll through all of the options and then we found one that uh, we were okay with. So then we'll just say like, oh, let's make that our backup option. And so I selected the unit because my roommate's unit uh, win selection window is two days later and we want to see, you know, if there's anything better that's popping up because um, I think it's not necessarily like the worst that your window is towards the end because if a previous selection, let's say they selected the unit but they didn't go through with the payment and signing the lease process, this property will later be released so hopefully, you know, someone they decided not to go with um, Harvard Student Housing, um, that apartment will be available later on. But I guess it is like better to have an earlier window because you have you can have all the availability. But for us, it was like this is our only option. <laughs> um, so we I selected the one that we both agree on that will work for us, and then we will see maybe there's something better come out in her window. So two days later, we, we, we also like, you know, look at the listings and made another list that we would like, we would prefer. 
and then in her window, like in a couple seconds, all the apartments was gone, and the housing sent all of us an email saying that all the apartments are sold out. So for her, she wasn't even able to select um, a unit. So I guess we were really lucky that you know I shouldn't be complaining that at least I got something. Um, so yeah, so we were able to secure a unit. So what happened after selection is that within about 24 hours, I guess a day or two, you were you will receive an email about that your lease is ready to be signed. And they gave me about a week for signing and doing all the prepayments, which I think is like um, enough enough time for me to get it done. Um, this is a time where since me and my roommate applied separately, uh, I emailed housing again and asked them, hey, like, can you add, can you add my roommate? So I just included all her information and CC her in the email and they're like, sure, we added your roommate now. Uh, they responded. So me and my roommate arranged a time to sign, uh, sign a lease together and make the prepayments together. So the prepayment will be a month of rent and um, for us, it's like about 1.5 months of rent because uh, our lease starts in mid-July. So we will pay the rest of the July's rent and then August rent altogether. Um, and that will be split in half between us in Harvard system. And however much we negotiated, um, we will resolve it among ourselves. But in Harvard system, we both each pay half of that. Amount. There's no security deposit, there's no uh, broker fee, uh, no other extra fees, so, which is what I really like about student housing, you know, because if we did go with off-campus housing, then that will be uh, maybe first and last month's rent, broker's fee, there's, yeah, there's a lot of police car and ambulance coming, coming next to my building um, but yeah if it's off-campus housing there will be a uh, broker's fee one first and last month's rent and then at least I think one month's deposit so that will be four months of rent altogether let's say if the, the rent is like twenty two thousand something dollars then we will have to pay like at least eight thousand dollars up front which is which is a lot um, so that's also another reason that we prefer um, Harvard graduate housing. And then all utilities are included, which is really, really nice because for my current apartment, I pay about, you know, I think like at four or $500 per month for utilities, internet and other random stuff. So I think it's like a really good deal if you can get um, selected for uh, student housing. You also get to join all the, I think they have a bunch of programs that you can join. Um, and it's close to campus. So yeah, I think, I think it's really good. Um, so after we both make the payments and then sign the lease, uh, we they waited a couple of days. Um, we waited a couple of days and then they eventually sent us a confirmation email that hey, your uh, we countersigned the lease, so now your lease has been executed. So, which means we have successfully secured the place. Um, so yeah, it, this process was definitely you know stressful again for me, <laughs> but I think we we're pretty lucky. We we're pretty lucky to get a place and secure the place. Uh, there was a lot of uncertainties of like, oh, I don't know if we're doing this correctly. You know, among two Harvard students, we were able to figure it out. But yeah, um, this is the process. I think I'm like rambling a lot. <laughs> I can't. Um, we did get into the Peabody Terrace Har Harvard housing. Um, I think I'm gonna try to do a tour um, once we got there. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching. I hope, I hope this, you know, help if you're selecting housing for next year. I hope this video is helpful for you to, you know, know the steps and the due dates and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so you're not as stressed as I am. Because I was like, we were, we both have no clue what's going on. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching my video and 
feel free to subscribe and like if you want. Um, yeah, have a good day. Bye bye.